Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to explain you what is this hybrid work policy. So I'm sure that a lot of you have been hearing for the last couple of months about something called the hybrid work policy. So what exactly is this hybrid mode and what are you going to do in this hybrid mode? I'm going to discuss that in this video and for how many days you need to attend office in any company, whichever you work in. So all this I'm going to discuss in today's video. So what is this hybrid work policy? It is basically the middle between two things, the, between the two extremities of work from office and work from home. So these are two things are at the two ends and at the middle of them is what you call the hybrid work. So what exactly happens over here? I hope you have understood by now. So it consists of part of work from office and part of work from home. So both of them combined together is what you get, what is known as the hybrid work policy. Now. Each company has its own rules and regulations that what is going to be the rules for this hybrid work policy. But the basic structure of these rules are almost similar in almost all the companies which I'm going to say over here. That is, you need to attend office around 30% to 70%. So you have to mentally do work from office between 30% to 70% of the number of working days. So if there are supposed say around 24 working days, so around 30% of 24 will be around 6-7 days. So you have to mentally attend office for 6 to 7 days. Now this rule is maybe for one company, in another company maybe it is 50%, in another company maybe it is 60%, in another company it may be 10%. So each company has its own sets of rules, so whatever your company suggests that is going to be your policy. But as I have said, this is the basic structure that you have to attend office for say our X, X percent number of days. So it won't be entirely work from home, so you won't be at home the entire throughout the month. Also it won't be like work from office that you are going to go to office to each and every day so it is somewhere in the middle where you have to partly go to office say for four weeks five uh, sorry for four days five days or maybe you have to go to office say tw twice in 50 days three times in, uh, in each fortnight or maybe twice in a month twice in a month so whatever is this thing it all depends on the project it depends on your manager and it depends on your company so this is the main concept of this hybrid work policy now whether now this work from office is compulsory or no now the thing is that this again as i've said it depends on your project so if your project manager says that you have that the project which you are doing can only be done from office you cannot do it from work from home then you obviously have to attend office there so there is no concept of hybrid work in that condition so the best thing for you is to discuss with your manager with whoever is a supervisor and that i think that will be give you the most clarif clarity like the answer will be the best answer whichever you which you get from a manager so but whatever i am saying is just a general idea as i have already mentioned now this work from office in some companies there is a rule that if you do if you convert to permanent work from home then your part of your salary will be deducted so and you can continue work from home and you don't have to attend office at all so you again some again most of the companies might not have this rule so yes some companies have made this rule that yes you can uh, deduct you can uh, accept to uh, you know, deduct some of, some portion of your salary and convert to work from home permanently so this is one of the options and as I've already mentioned that there is a number of attendance uh, days like 30% to 70% attendance like which you need to uh, when you need to attend office and again uh, based on whatever uh, guidelines whatever rules whatever uh, policies which your company has based on that you are going to attend office. Now the one of the way most common question is whether can you all change your project location to the nearest or maybe can you attend can you go to office in the nearest location suppose uh, you are from kolkata and your office location is in bangalore so can you go to the office in kolkata or you do you need to travel all the way to bangalore so this question i think is will be answered best by whoever is in charge of your project so what so it happens that lot of projects work from multiple spots suppose you are in the x project and it is working from bangalore it is working from kolkata then obviously you can uh, you can work from kolkata also because the same project is working here now but if the project is not here in your hometown and it is only in another city then i guess you have to then go to relocate to that city because otherwise of course you can't do work from office again this rules and regulations again vary from company to company and so this is the main thing that you can relocate if uh, it totally depends on your manager if your manager has allowed if you, are, you, if you don't have an on-site opportunity if it is not on-site or anything of that so then you can obviously uh, work from your nearest location 
So now for how many days can we expect this hybrid mode to continue? Now, I'm sure that most of you have heard that in China, a new COVID variant, the COVID XC, uh, and especially in the city of Shanghai, there is total lockdown and the COVID is rising rapidly. Even in a number of European countries and in a uh, lot of other countries also, the COVID is uh, increasing a lot. Even in India, in certain cities, uh, some guidelines are coming, which we are getting to hear that the COVID is again increasing. So I believe with this COVID incoming, I feel within a month or two, if the COVID again rises to a threshold then again probably the offices will again shut down and we are going to again transfer back to work from home so that's why i feel that this hybrid work policy won't be continuing for much long i mean it will probably be there for one or two months with but with this new wave coming i guess it will be again stopped after that so anyway that is a different story altogether uh, so yeah that is it i hope you have understood the meaning of the hybrid work policy and again as i am mentioning that uh, whatever i have mentioned is general for each and every company and the best thing for you to is to talk with whoever is in your company whoever is your manager whoever is your supervisor talk with them get to know what is the exact condition of your project if you are allowed to work from your nearest location do you have to is it mandatory for you to go to the project location or whatever so clarify every drills like how many days you have to work from office how many days you have to work from home and so i hope that uh, this video has been helpful to you and and if you have liked my video please do like my channel subscribe to my channel like my videos and do share my videos so thank you guys very much and see you in the next one